A Silent Savior in a Stormy Sea, written by Andrea Wolff, author of The Invention of Nature, Alexander von Humboldt's New World. Imagine a world without French wine, it seems impossible. Yet, in the 19th century, this beloved beverage faced a devastating threat. A mysterious disease ravaged vineyards, crippling the industry. But from this crisis emerged a hero, an unlikely champion, a woman named Jean Villepreux Power. A Plague Upon the Vine, France in Crisis Wine was more than a drink in 19th century France. It was woven into the fabric of society, a source of national pride and economic stability. But, disaster struck. A strange illness began to blight the vineyards, vines withered, grapes shriveled, panic spread like wildfire. The very soul of France seemed at stake. The dressmaker's daughter and the birth of an idea. Enter Jeanne Villepreux Power, a woman of humble beginnings and extraordinary vision. Born in rural France, she defied societal expectations. She moved to Sicily and became a skilled dressmaker, even crafting a wedding gown for the queen. But her true passion lay elsewhere, in the natural world. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Jean turned her attention to the sea, she yearned to understand its mysteries. This led her to a groundbreaking invention, the aquarium. A window to the deep, unlocking the secrets of the Argonaut. In the 19th century, the world of marine biology was shrouded in mystery. Scientists were eager to understand the enigmatic creatures that lived beneath the waves, but their efforts were often thwarted by the limitations of their time. One such scientist, Jean Villepreux Power, revolutionized the field with her groundbreaking invention. Prior to Jean's invention, studying sea creatures was nearly impossible. Marine biologists had to rely on specimens that were often damaged or decayed by the time they reached the shore. This made it incredibly difficult to observe the natural behaviors and characteristics of these fascinating organisms. They were often dead or dying by the time they reached land. The harsh journey from the ocean depths to the laboratory took a toll on these delicate creatures, leaving scientists with little more than lifeless bodies to study. This lack of live specimens severely hindered the progress of marine research. Jean's glass tanks changed everything. Her innovative design allowed for the transportation and observation of live marine animals in a controlled environment. These early aquariums were a game-changer, providing scientists with an unprecedented window into the underwater world. These aquariums, as she called them, allowed her to observe marine life in their natural habitat. For the first time, researchers could study the behaviors, interactions, and life cycles of sea creatures without the interference of the outside world. This breakthrough opened up new avenues of discovery and understanding. Her most significant discovery involved the Argonaut, a small, octopus-like creature. The Argonaut, also known as the Paper Nautilus, had long puzzled scientists with its unique shell. Jean's aquariums allowed her to closely monitor these elusive animals and uncover their secrets. For centuries, its method of shell formation remained a mystery. The Argonaut's delicate, translucent shell was unlike anything else in the marine world. Some naturalists speculated that the Argonaut might be stealing shells from other creatures, while others believed it was a parasitic organism. Some believed the Argonaut stole shells from other creatures. This theory persisted for years, fueled by the lack of direct observation and the mysterious nature of the Argonaut's shell. It wasn't until Jean's meticulous studies that the truth began to emerge. Jean, through meticulous observation in her aquariums, proved them wrong. She spent countless hours watching the Argonauts in her glass tanks, documenting their behaviors and interactions. Her dedication and attention to detail paid off, as she was able to capture the process of shell formation on film. She definitively showed that the Argonaut creates its own delicate shell. This groundbreaking discovery not only solved a long-standing mystery, but also highlighted the importance of live observation in scientific research. Jean Villepreux Power's work laid the foundation for modern marine biology and continues to inspire scientists to this day. Against the Tide, a woman of science in a man's world. Jean's groundbreaking work with aquariums earned her recognition. In an era when women were rarely seen in scientific fields, Jean stood out as a beacon of determination and intellect. Her fascination with marine life began at a young age and she pursued her passion despite societal expectations. Jean meticulously studied marine organisms, documenting their behaviors and interactions within aquariums she designed herself. Her innovative approach allowed her to make observations that were previously impossible, leading to significant advancements in marine biology. She corresponded with leading scientists, published her findings, and even had her work presented to the French Academy of Sciences. Jean's letters were filled with detailed descriptions of her experiments and the results she obtained. Her ability to communicate complex scientific ideas in a clear and concise manner earned her the respect of many of her peers. Despite the challenges she faced, Jean's work was recognized for its originality and rigor. 
Her publications in scientific journals were groundbreaking, and her presentations at the French Academy of Sciences were met with both admiration and skepticism. But her path was not without obstacles. The scientific community, dominated by men, often dismissed her observations. Many male scientists were reluctant to accept her findings simply because they came from a woman. Jean faced constant scrutiny and criticism, with some even questioning her credibility as a scientist. The frustration she felt was immense but it only fueled her determination to prove her worth. She knew that her work was valuable, and that it had the potential to change the way people understood marine life. They questioned her methods and even her right to participate in scientific discourse. Jean was often subjected to harsh interrogations and debates, where her methods were picked apart and her conclusions doubted. Despite the hostility, she remained composed and steadfast in her beliefs. She defended her methodologies with evidence and logic, demonstrating the thoroughness of her research. Jean's resilience in the face of adversity was a testament to her unwavering commitment to science, but Jean refused to be silenced. She defended her work with unwavering conviction paving the way for future generations of female scientists. Her courage and perseverance inspired many young women to pursue careers in science, breaking down barriers and challenging the status quo. Jean's legacy lives on, not only in her contributions to marine biology, but also in the countless women who followed in her footsteps, determined to make their mark in the world of science. Breaking news. A legacy of courage and curiosity, Jean's enduring impact. Though she is not widely known today, Jean Villepro Power's contributions to science are undeniable. Born in 1794 in Guyac, France, Jean's early life was marked by a relentless curiosity and a passion for the natural world. Despite the societal constraints of her time, she pursued her interests with unwavering determination. Her invention of the aquarium revolutionized marine biology, opening a window into a world previously hidden from view. Before her innovation, studying marine life was a daunting task, often limited to observing dead specimens. Jean's aquariums allowed scientists to observe live marine organisms in their natural environment, leading to numerous discoveries about their behavior, reproduction, and interactions. Her meticulous observations and groundbreaking discoveries challenged long-held assumptions and advanced our understanding of the natural world. Jean meticulously documented her findings, producing detailed sketches and notes that provided invaluable insights into marine biology. Her work laid the foundation for future research and inspired generations of scientists to explore the mysteries of the ocean. And what about the French wine industry? While Jean is not directly credited with saving it, her pioneering work with aquariums helped scientists better understand microscopic life. This knowledge proved invaluable in combating the vine disease that threatened France's vineyards. The phylloxera epidemic in the late 19th century devastated vineyards across Europe, and understanding the life cycles of pests and microorganisms was crucial in developing effective treatments. Jean's contributions extended beyond marine biology. Her innovative spirit and dedication to scientific inquiry exemplified the potential of women in science, challenging the gender norms of her era. She corresponded with leading scientists of her time, sharing her findings and collaborating on research projects. Her legacy is a testament to the power of curiosity and perseverance in the face of adversity. This knowledge proved invaluable in combating the vine disease that threatened France's vineyards. Jean Villepru Power's enduring impact on science and society continues to inspire, reminding us of the importance of curiosity, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. What do you think? Share your thoughts on a true pioneer. Jean Villepru Power's story is one of courage, curiosity, and unwavering dedication to scientific truth. She defied societal expectations, overcame adversity, and made groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of the natural world. What resonates most with you about Jean's story? Share your thoughts and comments below. Stay curious, like, subscribe, and explore more. If you enjoyed learning about Jean Ville Pro Power, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories of trailblazing women in STEM. Let's continue to celebrate the unsung heroes who have shaped our world.